Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. Today, we're going to have a reading. We're going to start out with tarot, three cards for the month of November for your zodiac sign. Are you ready? Let's get rolling. Okay, first what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle the cards. So, let's get the deck out here. Okay, keep my cards in a cloth to keep them clean, really. And we're going to start out our spread. I'm going to show you this from a top view, all right? So you get a better look at the cards. Let's start the tarot reading for Aries, people who are Aries, which means that they were born, you were born, somewhere from March 21st to April 19th. Those birth dates are Aries for the zodiac sign. Now, let's see. The strengths of a person who's Aries is supposedly, now remember, this is a generalization. The strengths are courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, passionate. Okay, and the weaknesses impatient, moody, short tempered, impulsive, aggressive. Ooh. Okay, well, Aries, let's have a spin, huh? See how this goes. So we're going to do our shuffle three times. All right. Okay. Number two. And number three. All right, now I'm going to lay out half of the cards, approximately half of them, and the other half here because I've only got so much space. Now I'm going to draw three cards with my left hand because. The left hand is associated with the right hemisphere of the brain. So, I'll randomly just pick three. Okay, got one. We're gonna go number two. We're gonna go number three. All right, then I'll take the remaining cards and put them off to the side here. Okay, so the first card tells us what we need to let go of before for the month of November, Aries. Okay, and that card is the Empress. Now, what do we know about the Empress? Well, we'll come back and read them once we get over them. Okay, the second card. We've got the Two of Wands. And the third card, we've got the Four of Wands. Okay, so let's see what that's going to give us. Let's talk a little bit about what these cards mean first. So we've got the, the Empress. And the Empress is fertility. Mother Earth, growth, nurture, abundance, harvest, lover. The Empress represents beauty, nurturing, and abundance. She is calm and content with her life. The Empress indicates 
the need to relax and allow things happen naturally. The Empress encourages connecting with one's more feminine traits and create beauty. Artistic expression and connecting with nature are representative of the Empress. Okay, so there's your Empress. And that's what you should try to let go of. Now, we've got our second card. Now, the second card is what we need to fix. The Two of Wands represents planning, business decisions, evaluation, possibilities, potential. This card represents planning for the future. If the ace is a sign of new beginnings, the two symbolizes the first steps. And that's what we need to concentrate on fixing. Then we have our third card here. Okay, the four of wands. Okay, now remember the two also had planning mentioned in it, right? When we look at the four, we can think it's time to celebrate with your closest acquaintances. It is a good time to pause the hard work and relax. Okay, so when I look at this, the little story that I see, I would say that with the Empress, what we need to let go is probably some of the mothering. Perhaps you more of a mothering type than you need to be for this month coming up, for this month of November, I should say. What you need to fix? Well, it looks like Probably something to do with planning and business decisions. Maybe you have some sort of a potential that it's not right on base. Your business is not. There's something in that area that needs to be fixed. So you kind of let go of the mothering aspect of it. You get in to fix your business, possibly your business, something along there. And then for the future, what should be in store for you for November would be a celebration, right? Achievement. You've got your romance and festivities and uh, maybe more planning. It's satisfaction. I think that all comes together pretty good. So it looks like Aries, you've got a pretty nice month laid out. And I am going to close this reading. But first, I'm going to use the pendulum and I'm going to ask the pendulum to show me yes. Okay, that's yes for me counterclockwise. Okay, now I'm going to ask the pendulum, pendulum to show me no. And that's a no for me, clockwise. All right, now, the question I want to ask is, was this tarot reading for the best of what could be read for Aries for the month of November 2021? Was this an accurate reading? on my part as the reader. And there we have our yes. Okay, so I'm going to close this reading. That wraps up the tarot reading for the month of November. I hope this turns out to be in your best interest. You use it well, it's helpful, and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now. <laughs>